Okay, in this video we're going to talk about the placement of the left hand on the club and the whole argument of the long thumb or the short thumb. And what you'll find is that if you have the, the left hand put on the club in such a way that the thumb is placed too short, uh, you'll end up with a palmy grip and one that won't hinge the club very well. So in order to get those hands to fit together properly and work well, we're going to have to make sure that we don't have this short thumb. So right here, what you'll notice from the position here is that the thumb is, is quite short on the club, meaning it is not pushed down below the index finger of my left hand. Now right here I'm showing how I'm stretching the thumb down the grip and if it's too far down the grip, ten the tendency there would be to give you a sore uh, thumb or a sore wrist. So reaching too far down the shaft is not good as well. So I'll show you where that thumb needs to go to give you the best consistency, the best chance to be consistent with your grip and your swing. So as you can see here, at this point my thumb is down below the level of my index finger. And now I just have to figure out exactly where it needs to go to fit me in comfortably. Here I've shortened the thumb, brought it back up the shaft, going this way. And you can see how that puts the club into the palm of my hand which is precisely where I do not want to play from or where I do not want to hold the club. So from right here now, as I stretch the thumb back down, you can see the club goes back down into the fingers. I can create hinge. And the heel pad is up on top of the grip. Very fingery looking grip. And once again, the end of the, the, the thumb is past the index finger. Now if you want to know exactly where it should go, with more of a close-up, we can show here in a second where it needs to go. What you'll find though, functionally, when the club is held with a short thumb up in the palms, functionally you get a, a putt. You basically get no hinge, which is good for putting, and putting instructors will usually move the, the grip into the palms of your hand. But for a full shot, for power and consistency, we need hinge in those wrists, and with that type of a grip, you just won't get it. Once it's down here, you have the thumb in the right position. The right hand comes along. And now I can easily create hinge and leverage and forearm rotation, which is going to allow me to have power and control of the, of the golf club. Now for more of a close-up view, as I described earlier, exactly where that thumb needs to go, the left thumb will be down past, once again, the index finger. Not too far, just about far enough for your two fi middle fingers of the right hand to fit comfortably where the thumb is. So you can see here as my right hand comes in, there's my ring finger and middle finger. And the end of my middle finger is right there at the end of my left thumb. So that will give you a very good indication of how far down the left thumb needs to go on the shaft in order to give you proper, a proper grip and proper leverage. 